What a difference a couple hours makes. Uh, you're looking at the Dow. We're off fractionally, but here's the thing. Uh, all the major indices are now in the red. Uh, hmm. Now, we also learned uh, authorities working with the FBI over the past five years have interrupted four attempts by gangs, Russian gangs, looking to yeah. sell radioactive material to Middle Eastern extremists. Will President Obama finally, finally get tough with ISIS? Joining me now, Tennessee Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Uh, Congresswoman Blackburn, uh, four attempts have been, have been uh, detected and averted, but we have to believe that this continues to go on. And at some point, if we don't take a harder line and, and make a more definitive uh, attempt to derail ISIS, it's going to happen. I agree with you. I think it's time for the president to stop living in fantasy land on this issue. They are not the JV team. And he needs to realize that, admit that he made a mistake in his assessment, be honest about those assessments, and come up with a plan that is going to address ISIS and the way they have metastasized, basically. And they're moving, the terrorist groups are moving and expanding outside the Middle East. And of course, the issues in Syria, uh, what you're seeing there with the refugees, of course there has to be a plan. So let's say the president did this, a, a rare mea culpa. Uh, somehow yeah. he had this epiphany and he knows he's got a year left in office and he wants to do the right thing. What would it be? Uh, what the right thing would be is a start with arming the Kurds. That would be a great step. And then with our allies in the Middle East, people that have hung with us, that are so frustrated with us, start set, uh, sharing intelligence with them. Uh, the third thing, go back here to Russia and say, okay, we're going to put some sanctions in place. So you need to get out of there. You're propping up Assad. So get out of there. And if you were to take those steps and define this, show you're going to be concrete in some of these steps, I think it would make a difference. How amazing is it that uh, Vladimir Putin has been able to stare down our president, uh, uh, not just in Syria, but with Ukraine, uh, Crimea, and a whole lot of host of issues, time after time after time, and apparently win each time. Well, and what is so problematic about this is you look at how Putin has positioned himself. And the Ukraine, Crimea, uh, there he is very orderly and actually quite predictable in his process. You're seeing the same thing with Syria. You're seeing Russia reach out and form an alliance with China. And that is one of the reasons that it means our president has to have a Middle East strategy dealing with ISIS. He also has to have a Russia strategy. And it can't be we're going to sit down and talk about this. Yeah. Because the president's version of discussing this and talking about us has gotten us into a world of hurt, if you will. Yeah, they call it feckless leadership or leading from behind, and it certainly hasn't helped. Thank you very much, Congressman. Thank you. Blackburn, appreciate it. One